Dr. Joseph McCullough almost certainly needs no introduction to regular viewers of my channel. He's a real medical doctor and a real threat to public health. Let's take a look at the most recent tweet on his Twitter account, which has 300,000 followers. Exposed US and Chinese enhanced the coronavirus. And he links to this report on ZeroHedge.com. And the article on ZeroHedge.com is an exact repost of an article from TheNationalPulse.com. Well, let's take a quick read. EcoHealth Alliance President Peter Daszak, who collaborated with the Wuhan Institute of Virology on research funded by Dr. Anthony Fauci's National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease, appears to boast about the manipulation of killer SARS-like coronaviruses carried out by his colleagues in China in a clip unearthed by the National Pulse. Dazak made the admission at a 2016 forum discussing emerging infectious diseases and the next pandemic, which appears to be at odds with Fauci's repeated denial of funding gain-of-function research at the Wuhan Institute of Virology. While describing how his organization sequences deadly viruses, Dazak described the process of inserting spike proteins into viruses to see if they can bind to human cells, as being carried out by his colleagues in China. Okay, so now let's watch the clip they've posted of Dazak supposedly saying this. Then, you, then when you get a sequence of a virus, and it looks like a relative of a known nasty pathogen, just like we did with SARS, we found other coronaviruses in bats, a whole host of them, some of them looked very similar to SARS. So we sequenced the spike protein, the protein that attaches to cells. Then we, well, I didn't do this work, but my colleagues in China did the work. You create pseudoparticles, you, look, you insert the spike proteins from those viruses, see if they bind to human cells. And each step of this, you move closer and closer to this virus could really become pathogenic in people. So you narrow down the field, you reduce the cost, and you end up with a small number of, of viruses that really do look like killers. Then you look in people and you say, in the people that live in the region where this animal lives, that are exposed to that virus, do we see antibodies? Well, that sounds kind of similar to what was written, but there's an important difference. Let's listen to one of these key sentences again. Well, I didn't do this work, but my colleagues in China did the work. You create pseudoparticles, you, look, you insert the spike proteins from those viruses, See if they bind to human cells. Well, I don't know if you heard that, but Dazak said that you create pseudoparticles. And what are pseudoparticles? Well, they're not viruses. These are biological particles containing the viral spike protein that are unable to replicate but can bind to human cells. That makes them really useful for conducting experiments on these spike proteins without the risks associated with handling live viruses. That's the entire reason these techniques were developed. Inserting a spike protein into a virus does sound pretty dangerous, and that's why the scientists didn't do that. They used a non-replicating pseudoparticle instead. The National Pulse has twisted the words of Dazak, who's describing a procedure developed precisely for its safety. The language used here about admissions, unearthings, and denials is really frustrating. Dazak wasn't admitting or boasting about anything in his talk, he was simply describing the research. And the National Pulse haven't unearthed anything, they've just watched a video on C-SPAN, that's hardly journalism. But the language is essential because it turns an unremarkable scientific discussion into something that feels important, and that's how you generate clicks from a one-minute clip of someone else's video. Okay, well that's it. This short video isn't meant to debunk the entire lab origin theory. We could spend hours discussing it, but this is just a simple example of how quickly the truth can be distorted by bad science journalism. And please like my video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more like this.